We actually drilled holes that you would do to drill out and then to blast out the, the rock that's in between the two seams of coal right there. That's the, there's the top seam, that's Dunmore number two up there. And then down here at the bottom, your feet is Dunmore number three. But, you know, most of this coal was formed 350 million years ago. You can actually see a leaf pattern right through where my light shine until. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right there is, yeah, it's all, it's all old. You know, ancient force, ancient force. We always say coal is, is, is solid sunshine. That's what it comes from. This is the red ash number two and red ash number three from down at Wilkes-Barre. It's the Dunmore number two and Dunmore number three up here. All the veins are all the same, but they're just named differently. That's a hand crank that they would have used probably at the turn of the century, probably when this thing was built. And this thing just cranks it in the sea. And it's itself, like I said, it self feeds itself right in. Now that would only be used for coal. A bunch of holes about six feet deep, and they pack it full of explosives, and yell fire and get out, and, you know, and then and then blow the coal. Yeah, and that's the funny thing is right now the guys that are still doing coal mining in Northeast PA still do the same do it the same way. Now they don't use hand drills anymore, 